So, it has come to my attention in the, it's basically like this y'all. So, in the whole thing with Knox and school beefing and such, right? Apparently, apparently, DK rap artist is this in school we got dk with push-ups slash family matters remix screw face john this so in the realm of all of this and such now look let me paint it out like i'm a there's a pink comment that he himself commented saying so i'm gonna read it out for y'all if y'all can't see it i'm gonna read it so it says why did I diss school? Even though I supplied context in the intro, people still can't put two and two together. So I will break it down for you. I dropped a diss on Benzino. If you want to know why, watch the video on my channel called The Real Reason Why I Diss Benzino. Around an hour after I dropped it, a bunch of people, including school, we did something along the lines of people dissing Benzino on M's behalf. Um, on Eminem's behalf. Because it is true. Well, in a way or not. Let me just still read it. Then on his, then on his Like That remix, they say they cornier than, they cornier than dissing Benzino on behalf of Eminem. I didn't remember that. He did say that. Who dissed Benzino? Me and Knox. Yeah, cause Knox Hill did came out with Cloud Cobain and then <laughs> I remember reacting to those two where he said about this and that and third. I assume the shot was more at Knox than me than me because he also has a million subscribers so it would make sense he's baiting him. But the shot was still at me regardless of whether or not he intended to intended it to be plus there is a lot of history between school and the people in the youtube rap community that goes back years that you guys might not be privy to but i am not cloud chasing if it was if i was it would be smarter smarter to this drake or kendrick right now who are worldwide celebrities not some guy with a million subs with a million subs that's kind of a little shot at knocks and such but it is what it is also screw is on the same energy benzino is on which is which is the main reason why i this thing if you have any questions feel free to ask so initially yeah basically i did remember screw saying about i did remember in the disc track where school was saying about how that's more pornier than this in people didn't this in benzino on Eminem's behalf so you know what let's see how dk dk put it up inside let's see how he rebuttals that so we better check this out sorry for the long intro make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get into it Ain't that a bitch? You gon' and school ain't that crazy? So you gon' you gon' say it's corny that people are dissing Benzino on the behalf of Eminem when you are gonna. But what's more cornier is you dissing him, you dissing KSI, and then you wanna make a song with him. Hold up, you diss. So he basically saying you dissing KSI for no reason and him ignoring you. Right. Aside for no reason and him ignoring you, then enter in the comp. 
and then you enter in a contest he did to then enter in a contest he did to be on a song with him so how you going diss some how you going diss somebody and then you want to be on a song with them enter a contest to be on a song with them how does that's way more cornier and such to see kid to be on the song with him a little pump can't get no fake cause there's something wrong with him he's dissed everybody google it you'll get a list of marvelous guns you did have more filling than caddy jenner's lips in your loop kiss you said he did stacks behind the scenes he was asking him to collab so the kind of means you think your moves are corny man it's facts let me tell you why cause luke did the same thing that you did with ksi then reacting mm. when he drops that's your formula for getting views a cover shooting drops he got a mini too stop talking mm. back and shooting man that isn't you it's never cool to rap about doing shit you didn't do why this shots at slim jesus what happened to that nigga he just came in rapped and gone like what the heck happened to him <laughs> where did he go talking back and shooting man that isn't you it's never cool to rap about doing shit you didn't do Cause a bad boy is satin that you've never been And Emmett is whack is ten times better than you've ever been I can tell he's a snake by the way he moves You two rappers kinda like convicts, we don't like the screws Everybody mm. in that circle doesn't like him man Hopping straight from circle to circle just trying to Hold on, it says Here's what I think, screw is the sort of Screw's the sort of person who Uses people to get to the top Then jittish them He became friends with Crib for clout Then once he Gotten several Hundred thousand subscribers before YouTube ciphers one and two and four horsemen. He had, <coughs> sorry, very little. He effectively abandoned Crypt, started taking shots at Crypt's friends and the YouTube rap community as a whole, and buddying up, and then bud and buddying up with the anime rap community who dissed Crypt in the past. Lost every friend that he had in it, they got fed up Went out of juice to realize he couldn't earn more Then moved on to anime and nerdcore, same thing He's Thanks. always beefing, that's his way of catching the buzz The first thing was popular, everyone liked him Couple years later, nobody does He ain't got no respect, man will just use you for what he can get Fucks with the people on who he needs to step Walks in the back just to get to a check Fuck all the gun bars and the wordplay Listen to the truth that the words say Fixing in the car with Guys, let's be honest That the word Look, DK, if you ever see this, my guy, hopefully you do remember me from reacting to your a stand. This, this is Benzino, because I remember reacting to that, and you was going crazy on that one. But goddamn, <laughs> and you were so crazy. Then he put D. What's so crazy about it? DK was the one who screw put on his worldwide cipher one. And then after all these years, I guess knowing how a school's character sometimes be changing over the years, <laughs> you get to see. So, hey, it's kind of crazy that the people who he was rocking with at first, not to say that they didn't snitch. Basically, it's crazy how school was going to diss the entire community, diss a whole community that he was a part of. But it is what it is. But hey. DK going crazy. First he was popular, everyone liked him. Couple years later, nobody does. He ain't got no respect. Man, I just use you for what he can get. Fucks with the people on who he can step. Walks in the back just to get to a check. Fuck all the gun bars and the wordplay. Listen to the truth that the words say. Fits in the car with the magazine and his family's in the worst way. We know that you're not still safe for the coke. Cause everyone know that you're anti white. He ready for that blow. Even Shaq knows white people was not who you like. You make mm. everything about race, you saying you should run, boy. Hey, hey. hey, 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 don't be using you, you saying, but you use as a Jamaican, do not use my use, do not use, do not use you saying, boat in this. As a Jamaican, don't <laughs> leave him out of this for any other running bar is cool, but don't use it as a way of saying that's what the person does. No, <laughs> I put a stop to that. <laughs> I'm putting you, that. you make it a thing about race. You saying you should run, boy. You be white rap, there is a culture vulture. What about the NBA, young boy? I'm a white man and I'm mm. like rap. You know. What about the NBA, young boy? Mm. NBA, young boy, the rapper. Hold on, hold on. White rap, there is a culture vulture. What about the 
the NBA, young boy. I'm a white man and I like rap. You don't like that, we don't like you. You won't fight back or get sidetracked. You won't write back. You might try to, but we know you don't battle with truth. You lying and we don't respect it. I got this rap shit to the science. You wanna get foggy, then you'll get dissected. Man, what you talking about? You wanna get froggy, then we can get dissected. Cause in science, cause science. Frog, you dissect the frog and it's for science and such. Mm. Okay. I think you might try to, but we know you don't battle with truth. Mm. You lie and we don't respect it. I got this rap shit to a science. You wanna get foggy, then you'll get dissected. Man wanna talk about shooting the gun like he clipping and dumping, he slipping and punching. But once he be challenging, he just about to be dipping and running like, wait. Mm. Talk like a blob, but you not one. Say you got off, mm. shot none. Sat in the car, flexing the gun in America. Everyone got one. You back like you're breaking the law or something. Talk about race, we saw it coming. Walk in the shop and then buy you a gun. Easy as shopping and buying some gun. So what are you flexing mm. for? Flexing you richer than all of your viewers. So who you dissing than all of your viewers? You wouldn't be rich without all of your viewers. You wouldn't. Yeah, like it's kind of crazy that you. It's look. Will I always say there's a problem with flexing? And it's, this don't even have to be about dissing anything and such. Nine times out of ten, this is just me. This is just my personal opinion on it. Where, why you gotta flex what you got? Because to me, if you know you got it like that, you don't gotta flex what you got. I get it that you want to and such. But honestly, look at the many people who are like rich and famous and such. And nine times, I mean, hell, look at J. Cole. He's such a rich, famous rapper, right? A multi-platinum lyricist and whatnot, right? But when you see his like social media and when you just see him out about, or you see videos of him and such, he wears normal ass clothes. He's just wearing normal ass clothes. He's bright, and instead of riding around in an expensive whip and such that most most rappers would do, he just rides around in a bike. A normal ass bike, <laughs> but don't get it twisted. He, but anytime when he wants to flex, he can. But otherwise, from that, he just dresses normal, and not even just rappers, celebrities as well, like Adam Sandler. Man just will, man will just wear regular normal clothes. So to me, it's one thing if you want to flex it. If you want to flex it, hey, do your thing. I'm not telling you you can't. But in the, but to me, I'm just saying, if you know you got it like that, you really don't have to flex it on this. And plus, especially in the realm of how with YouTube and such, the money that you're making is from many, all I'm saying is the money that you're making and such, yeah, it's from YouTube. But let's be honest, like he said, you wouldn't be rich without all your subscribers. Because let's be honest, the many times you be getting views and views and views and such is the more money that you're going to be getting pay for from the video so essentially your subscribers are the ones who are giving you the money to i get it it's youtube but essentially if it wasn't for the many views that you're getting on your videos you wouldn't be getting no money so like he said you wouldn't be rich without your subscribers so to flex on them and such and and to call them broke and such is crazy Call your subscribers broke while they watching you, nigga. How you gonna say we broke when we're the one who's making you getting views and money? So essentially, you're the one who's broke. I'm, that's how I look at it. And look, like I said, I, and I've said it before during this whole beef with Knox in school. I love school. I like watching him for whenever he gets to his breakdowns and then doing all this and such but essentially call a spade a spade man one say you got off you ain't shot none sat in the car flexing the gun in america yeah, everyone got, got one. one you act like you're breaking the law or something talk about race so it's coming. coming walk in the shop and then buy you a gun easy as shopping and buying some gone. guns so what are you flexing for flexing you richer than all of your viewers so who you dissing at all, all of your viewers? viewers you wouldn't be rich without all of your viewers you wouldn't be shit without all of your viewers you need to humble yourself Thanks. bragging the people that you gotta watch mm. that's what an idiot does with his wealth mm. bragging that you got more money than people that make them inferior maybe instead of you spending the thousands of watches you should be helping your fam in nigeria family first he got a brother who also reacts mm. why is it i never see them collab why ain't you helping well. him get to the bag you got 
well, then again, he did dis. In a way, he did disprove that on what was it? The hard part six. Pretty sure it was, but either way, he ain't wrong. Like with the way how yo it, you with the and plus with Queso, I'm not gonna lie with Queso. I've seen, I watch his certain recent reactions, especially to the most recent screw response song he did, the King Von one, with the what would King Von do and such. Look, all I'm saying is this. I get it, it's family, it's this and that, and I've said this in my other reaction. If you are, if you say you're a hip hop fanatic for over many years, And if there's two rap and there's rap beef between two rappers, right? Whether they're family, this is how I look at it. Whether they're family, whether they're friends or so. If I see that you got two, if you got rap beef, rap beef, rap beef between two artists, and two of them are your friends, or one of them is your friend, me personally, right? This is me. I am not showing no favoritism in this. I'm letting both of y'all battling out, and I'm seeing who has the best pen, who has the best rap, who has the more dirt on the rapper and such, you can say. So, with Queso, with the way how he was showing way too, look, he was showing way too much favoritism in this and such, because I get it, like I said, he's screwed brother, and you know family always gonna come first, I totally get that, I will never discredit that, but when it comes to the realm of hip-hop and such, in, and especially when you got one of your family members beefing with somebody. All I'm saying is, do not, I will, to me, this is how I'm looking at it. Don't show no favoritism in that sense. Because that's writing in there. People are going to say that you're a D-Rider and all that. And I'll be damn if somebody called me a D-Rider. Especially in the realm of hip-hop. Mm -mm, you ain't finna call me that. So I'm going to make sure I be unbiased in the motherfucker. In the thousands of watches, you should be helping your fam in Nigeria. Family first, he got a brother who also react. Why is it I never see them collab? Why ain't you helping them get to the back? You got a brother reacting to every track that you make. Where's the reciprocation? You did a side for a two, your brother can rap. Where was his invitation? I guess that you think that he's. And hell, even Mari said it too in his. when he was beefing with school. Hmm? Did two ciphers, right? And you have a brother who can also rap. So why in the heck didn't you put him on the ciphers too? Right? Cause it cause if I if I know my brother, if I know I had a brother, if I know my brother can rap too, right? Same way how I can. And even if I'm putting other artists from different communities, whether it be from the YouTube rap, the nerdcore scene, if you don't think I'm not putting my brother in there too you crazy especially if I know he on the same par as me you crazy if you think I'm not putting him on I don't care if he did if he has a million or a hundred thousand family he put I'm putting my family first too that's a straight-up fact Get to the bag. You got a brother reacting to every track that you make. Where's the reciprocation? You did a sign for a two, your brother can rap. Where was his invitation? They should. I guess that you think that he's trash. That's why you ain't got his back. Turning your back on your family. Ain't nothing faker than that. No, there ain't nothing faker than that. Mm. Oh, he did BBA Jersey too. I gotta check out that. Hey man, hey man, <laughs> man came with some receipts like a mud effort. So yeah, rest assured, DK was definitely talking some facts and this and such. But hopefully, if he sees this, my dude, hopefully you like this reaction. But hey, for all those out there, y'all be wondering. Why did DK responded? Well, he just said it in the... Well, he just put a print comment there. But all I'm going to say is this. If you haven't, go check out the original and such. I'm going to put it... I'm going to tag him 
tag him down in the description below so that way you can go watch the original for yourself without my commentary but if you like this reaction man make sure you leave a like comment down below what was your favorite part in this video and subscribe to the channel and such but it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up I'm out